everybody, it's Pamela Kubas and I am a Diamond Beach Body Coach and I wanted to kind of talk to you guys today about how to maybe change a little bit of the things that you're doing when you're talking to customers. Sometimes I have coaches ask me, you know, I'm struggling with kind of sealing the deal with my customers. I, they're interested and then all of a sudden they just don't seem interested anymore and I don't know what I'm doing. And I don't totally know what you're doing either. But I wanted to tell you what I do, and I wanted to tell you that I wanted to kind of get your focus away from that idea of sealing the deal and maybe use my acrostic. And the acrostic that I use is CARE, C-A-R-E, when I'm talking with customers. And the C stands for consider. You need to consider where every single individual that you talk with is coming from. Physically, emotionally, economically, all of that. Every single person's different and they're all starting from a different point and they're all going through different things in their lives and if you don't talk with them and you don't consider where they're at right now, you're going to lose them and you're not going to be able to help them adequately. So you have to talk to them and you've got to ask those questions and you've got to get to know where they're at and if you seem like you care more about the, the sell of this product or getting somebody into your challenge group more than you do about them and what they're going through right now, you're gonna lose them. The A is for acknowledge. You need to acknowledge their fears, their apprehensions, their anxieties, and their doubts. There's a reason that they have responded to you or reached out to you. Maybe they tried working out at a gym and it just didn't work. Maybe they felt uncomfortable because they were more overweight and it seemed to them like everybody at that gym was just really fit and they just didn't want to go. So they feel uncomfortable. Maybe they um, have tried another program before and they just failed and they just felt like they couldn't complete it by themselves and they, don't, they just don't know that they can complete it. So you need to find out what their fears and their anxieties are and what's going on and why do they think that you could help. Find out. Ask those questions. You can say, so what made you come to me? Like what, what can I do for you? You know, what didn't work in the past? What did you try in the past that didn't work? Because we wouldn't want to repeat the same thing that you did in the past, or we wouldn't want to do it the same way you did. Ask those questions. Um, you need to recognize. R is for recognize. Recognize their strengths, their goals, their motivations, and their expectations. If you are talking to them and you find out that they're super structured, um, that is a real strength because you can help them take a program that they have or that they're gonna get from you and help them figure out where to put it into their day and they'll probably be able to stick with that program and you'll be able to walk them alongside that and say, look, you just plug it right in here and along with all of your other structured day and just make sure you do it and you can succeed at this. If you find out though and you recognize that they have an expectation that is not very doable, you need to be able to be honest with them. And what I mean by that is this, everybody was made a certain way. And a lot of times the expectation that I hear that is not doable is they say, I want to look like her or I want to look like him, but we can't look like somebody that we are not. Now, if you recognize, you might say, well, what it is, what is it about him that you want to look like? And they say, oh, well, you know, it's just, he's so muscular and, and he's fit. I really want that. Oh, well, I mean, I can help you get your muscular, I can help you get muscular, and I can help you get fit. I can't help you look like him, but I can help you be the best that you can be. Or if she says, you know, I just, I want to lose weight, I want to get skinnier, and I, I want to be able to fit into a suit, and she looks so pretty in a swimsuit, and I, really, I just want to be like that. You can say, well, I can't help you look like her. But together, we can work on, you know, using a program and using Shakeology to get you to look the best that you can look and you could look great in a swimsuit. You have to help make sure that their expectations are doable and on track. Um, and that's what coaches do. You don't have to have, um, you know, a BS or, a, you know, in, in health and wellness to be able to recognize those things. But you need to be honest and you need to not worry about that losing a sale if you mention those things. That shows people that you care. 
So then also the E, so we've done C for consider, A for acknowledge, and R for recognize, and the E is for engage. When you've done all the other things, it's time to engage them. That is the difference between people who accomplish things and people who don't are the people who actually get to the engage part. They're doing it. So in order to help these customers do the programs, you've got to link them up with a program that works for them. I think one of the downfalls is a lot of times as coaches, we get into this trap of pushing the monthly promotion onto anybody who responds. But if you've done C, A, and R, and they're not fit for this month's pro promotion, find another program that would fit them. Be honest about it. I know this one's on sale. But let me tell you, I want to send you another video of this other program that I really think would meet your needs more, and here's why. Be honest with them about that. But if you haven't taken the time to get to know what programs we have, you can't do that. It's so easy. You go to business tools in your coach line office, and you go down to all the programs are listed on the left, and you pick whatever program you want. I really encourage you to go through every single workout program that we have. Go in there, look over the FAQs and look over the videos, watch them. Get to know what those programs are about. Because if you get an older woman who has bad knees, um, and maybe she's a little bit more overweight, I'm not recommending that she starts with an insanity. I'm gonna, I may have to recommend Tai Chang or Slim and Six or something a little bit lighter until she gets more in shape, and then we can move her up to another level. I also may have someone who's much more overweight that I may need to be able to be honest and say, let's do this. How about we start you off with Shakeology because you need that. You need to get that into your diet. But let's do this. How about you check with, in with me every day and you're going to do these things that you told me you loved, swimming, biking, whatever it is, for just 20 minutes the first week. And then let's try 25 minutes the next week. And when you meet this goal that you and I have talked about, you're going to be able to get this program that we both think is great for you and it's your goal program. And let's take a picture of that program, let's stick it on your refrigerator and that's your goal. And we're going to we're going to get there. I'm going to help you get there. Be okay to not sell that challenge pack if, if that's not right for them. You have to care about each and every customer separately. And if you just see them as a success club point every month, they're going to feel that. And if you just see them as um, that commission that you get, they're going to know that. And you will not be able to help them like you should be able to. There is a total difference between a salesman and a coach. And a salesman wants the money, they want the commission, and a coach cares about people. So I really want to encourage you, if you're struggling to get someone from desiring to change to being a part of your process and helping them change, then ask yourself, do I care and if I do care am I showing them that I care in the right way so I hope that this helps I hope that this acrostic gives you at least something to start with um, I know that it works for me and this is how I deal with every single customer that I come into contact with and if they're just not ready for to engage they're not ready to engage but they might be in two to three months from now and they need to know that you care now and you will care when they're ready even if that's not now so I hope this helps, and if you're not a coach of mine, but you're watching this video and you're thinking this might be something that you might like, you can get in contact me. Contact with me. My information is on the YouTube page, and you can, um, or you can write me back at uh, pdkubas at me.com. I would love to talk and see if you might be a good fit for our team. Thanks, and have a great day.